Hello everyone, it's Tuesday today. We're going to sing our good morning song. Hello everybody and how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello everybody and how do you do? How are you today? I'm sad. Show me a sad face. Cheer up. We're going to be seeing each other soon. <gasps> Hello everybody and how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello everybody and how do you do? How are you today? I'm cross. Show me a cross face. Mm. I'm cross that I can't see you guys. Mm. Not the president's friend. <laughs> no, I'm only teasing. The president is doing us a favor by keeping everybody at home so that we don't get sick. Okay. So, today I'm going to go over the nursery rhyme that I read to you yesterday. Remember? It goes, roll, roll, roll your dung safely down the road. Steadily, 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 such a heavy load. The next verse goes, roll, roll, roll the dung in a ball so neat. Wrong way round, upside down, push it with your feet. And the last verse goes, roll, roll, roll the dung right up to your nest. Set it down, turn around, go back and fetch the rest. Mm, quite a tongue twister, eh? Hey? Okay, so we're going to see what Mervyn's got for us today. Mervyn has got a Pringles tube. You know what we can use this for? Because we're talking about recycling this week. Do you know what we could use this for? Paint brushes. Yeah, good idea, hey? Let's see what paintbrush is in here. Ah, we have a paintbrush. We're going to do some art. We're going to do some painting just now. Let me put that there for just now. Right, but first we have, what else does Mervyn have? Oh, he's got a tinky box. I wonder what's inside. We can recycle the tinky box and use it for locks. Let's see what's inside the tinky box. It's number one. Let's take it out. And let's take out one block. Oh, one purple block. Okay, the next number is number two. Let's take out two yellow blocks. One, two. Right, the next number is number three. Let's take out three red blocks. There's one. Two, three, three red blocks. Put it next to each other so you can see it nicely. And there and there. Oh, let's put the paintbrush back in our box and our tin. Okay, then we're going to get number. Oh, number four, and we're going to get four blue blocks out. One, two, three, whoopsie, I dropped one, and four. Welcome to Tuesday's Art Activity. On Tuesdays we do painting. So we're going to paint a little piggy on a 
mark on a paper plate which has been recycled okay so you can use another paper plate to get your um, your paint together we're going to mix pink with red and white okay I'm going to get I've got my paintbrush tin that I recycled right then you're going to what you're going to do is you're going to take some red and some white and you're going to mix it together to make a pink and then you're going to paint your piggy you can just press the paintbrush on the pig like that and that is how your piggy will look when it's done if you don't know how to draw a pig mommy can help you all you have to do is draw a circle around draw the two ears at the top make little triangles going down to make his ears flop flop over and then just make the eyes and the nose with the two dots in the middle and the mouth yeah. enjoy making your piggy tomorrow we will cut it out See what the animals are up to in the animal hospital. Accident on the slime highway. Is anyone injured? Early that morning, Dr. Trunk received a call. There had been a road accident on the N1 slime highway. <sniffs> no, not many are injured, the pig in the paramedic uniform of the Red Crow answered. There are a few broken cracked shells, but otherwise there's nothing serious. But it looked terrible. Two dozen snails and slugs were lying in a messy heap along the whole length of the slime highway. Some of them were sleeping and others lay groaning. Next to them were the wreck of smashed shells. The search and rescue crabs were doing their best to remove two tortoises from the road. The tortoises had landed with their heavy shells on top of the soft snails. Dr. Trunk left the injured in the care of his nursing bunnies and the pigs of the Red Crow. He went looking for the head of the police dogs. Morning, Doctor. Did you come to take away these highway hooligans? The police dog was panting with irritation. What, ha what happened? Dr. Trunk asked. The first tortoise thought this was a racetrack. That's what the radar bat's camera caught him speeding at 130 centimeters per hour. The speed limit for heavy road users like him is only 90 centimeters per hour. He began to slide on the slippery slime and sped across the street like a shotgun. Then he hit, then he hit the snails and slugs and who were also sliming along too fast. And to top it all, the second tortoise then crashed into them. Tortoise too was also sliming along too fast at 120 centimeters per hour. And I think he had too much to drink. Dr. Trunk called to his blood bank bat. Sister, we need a blood sample. Please tell us if this tortoise is tipsy. Sister Bat didn't waste any time. She sunk her teeth into the tortoise's neck and sucked softly. She stumbled towards Dr. Trunk, giggling. Hick, two grams of Van Wan and berry booze Hick, in his blood. The police dog grabbed the handcuffs. 
I knew it. Off to jail, you gulping boozer. One of the nursing bunnies came rushing in. Doctor, doctor, please come. One of the snails is losing a lot of slime. The police dog barked crossly. Serves him right. He wasn't wearing a safety shell. Dr. Trunk examined the snail. There's no time to take him to hospital, he said. Give him slime to mouth. The bunny pulled an awful face, but she did as the doctor said. The pigs from the Red Crow carried a fly to the ambulance. This fly got hit by the first tortoise. His wing is broken. Dr. Trunk nodded. Take him to the hospital. Dr. Tsetsi can help him. It's about time the pest earned his keep. Doctor, come quickly. Two pigs from the Red Crow were carrying a bunny that had fainted. What's wrong with her? asked Dr. Trunk worried. She's the bunny that gave the snail slime to mouth. The snail is doing just fine, but the bunny threw up. Dr. Trunk shuddered. Oh, I can't believe that. Snail slimes taste awful. Take her to the ambulance and give her a little carrot juice to get the taste out of her mouth. The rescue crabs worked quickly. The pigs from the Red Crow and Dr. Trunk's team helped them patch everything up. Very soon, everyone was feeling better. Nearly all the animals returned on the slime highway. The two tipsy tortoises, one slug and three snails, went with the police dog. They all slimed too fast and weren't wearing their safety shells. Dr. Trunk went back to the hospital with two patients, a groggy fly and the bunny that swallowed icky slime. <laughs>